Welcome to ATV TV. I'm Darren Dance here at the Inglis Sales on St. Paddy's Day, Pete. You'd know all about that on March 17. A few with, beers um, tonight, Darren. Well, you, you don't need much of an excuse normally, do you, Pete? But, uh, and I'm joined here by Guy Hexter, and Guy's had a number of horses with us for a long time, but um, nothing's going to change there except he's changed roles. And us being um, quick to get on board, Pete, he's given us a couple of hats. Yeah. For the big L, Ladbrokes. Ladbrokes. And yeah. he's here to tell us a little bit about Ladbrokes today. Welcome, Guy, to ATB TV. Thanks very much, Darren. Nice winner with Red Handle the other day. Yeah, it was terrific. We had a bit of a panic early when she was out the back, but came home nicely to get the chocolates. I watched it with you, and I think I said on the corner, can't win. I think we said after the first 200, can't win. <laughs> Did you get a boost on the corner? Boost the odds? Should have been 100 to 1. <laughs> anyway, we can win with Ladbrokes, and uh, we're going to look after our punters, Guy, and... Without giving too much away, what can you tell us? Oh, it's certainly really exciting to uh, join forces with ATB. Um, I've been lucky enough to be owners with you guys since Dandino a couple of years ago, so it was a great ride and I think uh, we match up really well. Good. That's so, insightful. Abs absolutely. <laughs> uh, so what I'd say is check out the ATB Punches page on the website and also info on uh, ATB's emails and we can definitely look after you. Well, it's good to uh, have lab rakes on board. Um, we don't want any money for this. We just want the punters to uh, win in the end. So, and uh, we want to look after Guy because he's been a good supporter of ATB by buying shares in horses. And it's a pretty simple strategy. Get him on ATB today. Sell him about four shares tomorrow, Pete. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> yeah, he's looking a bit white now. <laughs> anyway, um, so Guy's here. To, he's going to help us go through last week's runners, Pete. Yep. And he's guy's got a best bet for you, so stick around and have a look. Where do we go back to, Pete? We'll kick off with the winner, Darren. A winner. Embroider at Cranbourne. She got a well and truly well-deserved win out of the road. Wid ridden like the best horse and uh, won well. Did you see the run? I did. I, I got the. I got the. I got on at the short odds too. Odds on. Odds on. Probably two dollars on Boosted Ladbrokes. Boosted two with that Ladbrokes. Yeah. Any price a winner. Yeah. Well, that was good to see because she showed enormous ability this filly, and we tried her at two and. It was probably the wrong thing to do yeah. and uh, we put her out and gave her more time and look it wasn't a strong race Cranbourne Friday night but the money was good. It was good. 16 grand? Yes, ex excellent. You're in good form Pete, you alright? Yeah, no, just a long drive here to England. <laughs> <laughs> Country boy, eh? I missed out on the odds on of the boosted two dollars or whatever everyone got. You got a Labrokes account? No. Sort that out by yeah, shame, yeah. shame, shame, shame. sold one. Get that hat off. <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations, guys, on embroidery. That won't be the last race she wins, and uh, she's a well-bred mare, and I'm sure she's going to go on um, and win be better races in time. Yep, and probably over a trip too, now. A trip, Pete? Yep. Serious witness. I went to... Royal Eden Hope. <laughs> You're and, in serious uh, witness, are you? I am. I definitely wasn't making the trip out that far, though. I think <laughs> well, it's closer to South Australia than it here. is. Talk Bloody about um, comedy capers. Uh, um, wish we had there was vision. more humour there than what we'll ever get on ATB TV. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, I couldn't get there, but you went. Yeah, we had the stewards' car wouldn't start, so they paraded for about 15 minutes. Then they got them to the gates. It was a false start. <laughs> And then when the start actually happened, there was one that got out about two minutes earlier than everything else. And we were in the gates? Yeah, we ran as the gates opened and, look, wanted to either lead or be outside the leader. And I think she might have been three back on the rails. Three back defence at Eden Hope. Mm, it's a 200 metre straight. Not the place to be. No, no. Not for our horses 16.2 and takes a stride a metre and a half. <laughs> and the track's longer than everyone else. around, yeah. But, but she was good. She was strong late, I think. Two pleasing things. She did actually settle okay inside the horses, and she ran home strong. So uh, well, she's in the Matt Kamani yard now, and um, first up over 1850 metres, mm. coming off a tendon injury. A bit different to the norm. But mate was happy enough. Um, I thought it was just an absolute joke, the whole thing. But <laughs> one thing I was pleased to see is, after that injury and all that time, she still wants to be a racehorse, and you could actually see her attacking the line. Yeah. Probably another 20 metres, she wins. Um, that would have made us all happy on the day, but at least she's pulled up sound. Yeah. And um, in typical English style, she won't run for three and a half weeks <laughs> and she'll go straight to 2,000 metres of yeah. Donald. Yeah. Well, Matt 
like fitness wise, he didn't know where she was. But I mean, she could have ran two thousand the other day. So I'm actually thinking about taking out my trainer's license and training like an Englishman. <laughs> I just run your horses four times a year, keep them in work the whole year, take the forty grand. You'd have to win the four races to keep the artists happy. I'd just reckon. win one race. Yeah. <laughs> why, why go to the races? It'd cut down on float fees, yeah. race day attendance fees, staff. Hey, <laughs> it all up. We've got it all wrong. Anyway, he's done a good job with it. You like him, don't you? Yeah, no, good, good to work with, mate. And, um, a lot of the owners yeah, like him, he just thinks especially she... the females. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no comment. Beck like him? I don't know if she's a... knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to dig yeah, a hole for you, Pete. Yeah, no, I'm All right, not, let's move on. But yeah, fall. let's go to Donald in a few weeks and watch Serious Witness win. Yep. Uh, we went to Mildura on nothing on nothing else on Saturday. Went to Mildura. Did we, you? No, I didn't. I didn't I either. To go. We had a cup winner. We Broadline did. first, and he smashed him. Did you see it? I did. Did you back it? I didn't get on it, unfortunately. What did it pay? Oh, he probably could have got three bucks. I'm not three sure. Three bucks. But it started shorter. Yeah. Two forty, wasn't it? Yeah. One of D. Yendel's specials, just five Mildura well, cups in a row. Not bad, is it? Hey, what are the not other bad. jockeys doing? <laughs> not turning up. He's got links on him. <laughs> what Yendall, are they Mildura. Keep... <laughs> It's a long way from home. Well, it was a bloody long way, but yeah. I tell you what, it was really exciting. Yeah. And um, I took a photo of Liz and Christina Jeffrey having a champagne, and someone photoshopped it with the cup in the front. Did you see that? No. Did you do I, that? No, I got the photo of the cup sent to me, but I never did the photo. Someone photoshopped it, and everyone's texting Liz saying, "Well done. Yeah, up there. When are you coming home from Mildura? <laughs> we weren't even there. But it was a good win. Congratulations to the Dry family. Um, obviously, together we raced the mare. Um, we've got her in foal, um, and you know she's, her first foal looks pretty handy and should go on to win better races, would you think? Oh, absolutely. A that likes to sit on the pace like that and can finish off. Um, she yeah. was Mildura Cups over seven furlongs, so yeah. there's plenty of races around this time of year for, yep. for mares like her. And the fact, I thought it might have got more riding points for the What to get? Six, so it's actually still a 78. So, so we're off to Bendigo. Yeah, and that's a standalone... Saturday meeting. Which we can use Ben Allen if we want to claim 58 and a half and a 78. He's something. a 78 on a 78? Yep. We need to claim. And we'd have 58 and a half with Benny Allen's Got claim. organised? Well, that's what I'm tripping to do, Darren. I'll be tripping over yourself to get to the phone. Otherwise, they'll use Benny Allen. They're good at that, the weird stable. Well, Jeremy Rogers, if you're listening. <laughs> they uh, watch it. Probably Peter will ring you in about four days to organise it. Because he moves very fast. Uh, see, they've heard it. They'll hear it today. They'll be watching. Good on you, Weary. Good to see you trained a winner for us. Ransom. Did he get his 100 city winner yet? No. Is he on 99? 99. 99. He'll probably nail it tomorrow. Could be us tonight. Oh, well, tonight. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to get to them. If you get a, We're going slow, Darren. I reckon if we get the 100th winner with ATB, we should get a year's free training fees. Yeah, that'd be his 23rd for us. What do you think, Simon? If you're watching. <laughs> no answers. Let's go to the valley while we're speaking about it. We had Ransom money run fifth. Blinkers first time. Uh, Heavily back late. Eights into fives. Don't know who buy. Eights into five, not my money. No, but he ran an even race. Uh, look, I think our face value is a bit disappointing. Um, but what you have to understand is this was he was never going there to win. Um, it was a stepping stone towards bigger things over further ground. Yep. And you can see he travelled nice and then when they kicked on the corner he didn't have that speed. And then as he was sort of struggling there, he got sandwiched up because yeah. he wasn't going good enough. He'll be either at Terang. I see they put a nom in for Sandan as well. Progressive horse. Yep. Get on over 14, 16. Next start. We had two disappointing runs on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll no go. good Wednesday, Pete. We'll, we'll, Can we skip Wednesday? Because right, okay. we're on a good roll before we got to Wednesday. Typecast ran last. Him with you, Joe, ran 10th. So now we move did, on. <laughs> no? Why did Typecast run last, Pete? Oh, there's a bit of drama before the race, Darren. Probably. In the starting stalls? Yeah. Probably should have got uh, clerked to the stalls for a start, and then there was a bit of a drama. Put a kid on. Yeah. Oh. First run for a new trainer. Yeah. Trainer didn't have any idea how bad she was. And it was Played all, up in the gates. All Red, over. jumped, yep. and then he said to me, uh, when she got to the 400, the kid took a helmet off and put a pumpkin head on. Pulled a six <laughs> wide and gave another eight. Another one for the job. He's whack. Yeah, no good. <laughs> what do you say after the race about apprentices? Pete? Benny Allen's a good jock. What did you say about that approach? Oh, I never said nothing. No, put it on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, look, um, I just Tony, was, Tony blamed himself, said it needs a senior and needs someone with its head in the gates and keep it calm. Yep. Anyway, she's going to sail. Hopefully we can win a, win a race before she goes. Yep. 
And then the other horse, what was it called? Hemi G. Joe. Well Ten. said. <laughs> Rattled it out twice. Uh, disappointing on face value, but... Why, Pete? Well, I might... First three... two runs, three runs, second, first, second. Charges home at Bendigo. Looks unlucky. Goes to Sandown. And uh, never in the race. Disappointing. Yep. Now, Damien Lane rode it. You don't rate him much. What'd you say? Here we go. Again. My three points. Inside, probably didn't suit. Up in trip and up in class. And the three times she has ran well, she's come around them. Maybe ridden a fraction close. Back uh, to the bush. Back to a bush. They have got nominated for a 2000. Some people might say she didn't run 1800 out. But I, I'd say that. I just said some people will. <laughs> <laughs> And I reckon she was, I don't think she likes grey horses because she was a bit scared of that grey horse on the outside well, of it. I thought it was a ghost. So. Looked a bit like me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll see. She's pulled up well. So. Uh, pulled up well. well. Well, she didn't do much. <laughs> no, now, I was disappointed with that, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I didn't think she was ever going to run like, no. what, second and last beating 10. No. Damien. Something went wrong there. Damien probably looked after the last 100, but look, she was gone 300 out. So. Oh. On the corner, she was going to run place. Yeah. Last 200 was terrible. Sand and track. Gets a few. Yeah. What's Just going on in that weird stable? Back, back to the bush, back to the drawing board. And, was she and fit enough? Well, she had to be, didn't she? Fourth up. Mm. Anyway, back Look, to the bush. Throw a few queries. I need a bit of rain. <laughs> yeah, well, that's another point. Yeah, I don't know. A, that track. Track, a lot of tracks, horses fail at sand and first go. Right. Anyway. So that was 30 wins for the year, Pete? Broad won first, brought up our 30th. 30 wins for the season. Yep. Definitely on track for the 50. 50, yeah, we and are, then we actually. go fishing. I think prior Sounds to those good. couple of bad runs, we'd won seven of our last 16, which is not a bad strike, right? Yeah, I don't like Wednesdays. <laughs> we'll get rid of Wednesdays. Right. right. You got your alley. Right, tonight. tonight. Yep. Coming up. Bloodlet. Bloodlet. To the Greyhound. Off a maiden win, off a five length maiden win. Can't win. Speed Silks, Yendel up. What odds? Four bucks, I think. Four forties. Isn't there something odds on in that there's race? There's about half the field scratch, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. So there's about, only four runners? No, there's about ten, but there's about four out. So, so it was a field of 20, was it? Yeah, yeah I knew you'd get me. Half the field. <laughs> four, <laughs> 30% of the field was scratched. I love his mathematics. Shall we work at the breaks with the odds? <laughs> I'll give you forties. Ah, look. She's well, a good chance. You like her? Yeah, I do each way. Who's riding it? D. Endel. Speed right. Silk Shendel. Oh, That's God. worth two links over 2,000. Oh, definitely worth using the odds boost then. Yeah, what I is reckon. she? 420. Yeah, there's an odds on here, isn't it? O'Brien's. O'Brien's? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. O'Brien. He's, he's had a lot of luck today. He's already, had his, he's already had his luck this yeah, morning. So he so might have burned it all. Hopefully um, we can beat him. Yep. But she's a good chance. Do you She'll like it? Well. Oh, based on her last run, coming in the valley over 10 furlongs, yep. definitely looks a good chance. Yep. Well, you know what we do with these well-related fillies, a half-sister to plate level? We'd like to win a race first, then we'd like to win a city race, then we'd like to get a bit of black tie. That's how we can create wealth for our owners. Well, step one's been achieved, step two tonight, and step three later They tell on. me only uh, one in 16 win a race after their maiden straight away. You heard that stat before? I have, yeah. But you know over 2,000? It's what the stat is? Probably... It's 18%. It's a bit better. 18%. There you go. Let's hope she fits into that category. Anyway, I'm going to the valley tonight. I know you're taking Beck out for dinner, but I'm going to the valley. Am I? Yeah. I thought I was You're going to celebrate, night. aren't you? <laughs> what? A oh, big purchase. Yeah, yeah. That's Big Pete, he's got a big announcement to make later. He's made a massive purchase. Mm. He's moving to Ballarat. So, a bit of travelling. You'll be at Ballarat. Anyone wants to go and see their horse, he's available at 7 by 24. <laughs> <laughs> Work's just become easier. <laughs> Can we move on? Yes, Pete. My obsession. Mooney Valley. Yeah, she hadn't raced for a month, but she gets to a track she loves. 1600, it's probably the weakest race she's been in all prep. Who's riding? Ben Allen. What gate? Claims one and a half, eight of eight. Won't matter, she'll sit back and swoop. Right. Each way chance again. Where's the rail? Uh, on, on the, the inside. Track, on the track. <laughs> on the inside. I'm not sure. It was out at, what price? on Monday. It was six metres out. So, But they did run on Monday. Yep. What price? Uh, she was 5.50 when I looked. That wasn't lad breaks I looked at. Sorry, Guy, but she was 5.50 fixed. It's probably seven on lad breaks. Boost. Uh, like to Boost hope. out the seven H way chance, I reckon. Yeah, well, we want to be winning because there's another long row mare that's well bred. And uh, she's already won in town. So I need to get some black top with this mare. Yeah, we've got to so look. we've got to work a plan out for that. 
we might have to freshen her up and have a look at Adelaide later. Adelaide. So we'll just send her around tonight and hopefully she can win and then we, we got options. All up the two of them, five dollars a place. Whatever we can get that. I'm well, sure, sounds, I'm sure a girl can look after you. Yeah. Four dollars twenty and a five fifty, that sounds That's sounds a win, fun. that's twenty, so about four or five bucks a place. Sounds like about twenty three dollars on the all up. I feel like I'm surrounded by mathematicians <laughs> in grade one. We can, do, mean, we can, do, the, so. we can right. do the sums. We what are we doing? The horses then up. we go on the Yarra Glen Cup with oh, Falago. Yeah, Falago. Oh, he's given up. He's lost the plot. Am I going to he's third? thinking about the money. Yeah, third up over 1850. Won this race last year. He did win it. We had yeah. a real jockey on last year, Glenn Boss. Is Bossy still around? <laughs> Went, it was the last race he won. Um, <laughs> Joy McNeil stays on. Jay, oh, Joy McNeil. Uh, beaten 3.7 in the Cranbourne Cup. Come to the line okay. Was never going to win that because he wasn't fit enough. His aim is the Warnable Cup. Mm -hmm. Don't know if he can win that either, but uh, the horse on track. He's improving each run guy. Um, Jai's riding in reasonably good form at the moment, yep. just out of his apprenticeship. So. I'll tell you what, his strike rate's better than people think. Yeah, it Absolutely. is. You know, he's a little bit of a sneaky man, Joy patient, McNeil. Patient rider. Like patient. Well, let's see if we're saying patience on Sunday. He might be a patient. Yeah. Uh, what price would that horse be? He'd be oh. 8 to 1, 10 to 1? Oh, it'd, be, it'd have to be double figures, I would say. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, a, and a big chance on It's Sunday, all about betting here at ATB TV today. It's all about, last week it was all about charity <laughs> with Amber. Which was good. Yeah, it was. And thanks for the feedback. I think we sold 35 books yeah, off that. Yeah, nearly 40 now. 40, is yeah. it? Unbelievable. Yeah. Which is cool. um, so well done to everyone for that. And But this week it's all about punting get our book money back. <laughs> Lab breaks. Get on. All right. So, Falago, each way. Yep. Should be hitting the line nice. Track's probably going to be firm. There's no yeah, rain around, no, is there? I don't think so. I haven't so. looked at the forecast. I don't think he'll go back to back myself. I think he's one run behind. But I hope, he, I hope he proves me wrong. He's been a ripper horse for a horse that is, I think after he's had his fourth start in Sydney, I was told he'd never race again. And uh, so I brought him home and... Uh, one, three in the city, right? I think he's won 400, 300,000. Yeah, two in the city. In it's the good to prove cup. those uh, big trainers wrong. Yeah. He was actually, you're right, he was fourth up into the cup last year. Yeah, so he's he one run behind. behind. Yep. Anyway, that's all right. But that'll probably get us to the water will cup at better, Nick. I hope so. Nothing uh, Monday to Tuesday. We've got a debutante, Perugia. 1200 metres. Tell us about him, Pete. You've seen him trial. Now, yeah. The owners won't know anything about this horse. He's by Strategic. I bought him out of a paddock. He grew up in the same paddock as Platelet, would you believe? Yeah, well... Up in the middle of nowhere. It's a very lucky paddock. Yeah. Has been. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you've watched his trials. Yeah. You know more about this horse than <coughs> probably anyone else. Well, Jack Hill knows a bit more about him than me because he got bucked off last prep. He didn't realise he was on the same horse at He's Parrot learned to ride, He's learned to ride hasn't he? Since and he then. was an absolute uh, champion at Parrot. Paraded well, went to the gates jumped, settled and got to the line really well and Jack got off and said, oh, what's this horse? I told him what it was. He said, geez, sure it's the same horse. It bucked him off. But look, he weary just said straight after it. He's probably not ready to win, but he's ready to go to the races. His manners have improved, his fitness is up and uh, yeah, just get there and see him run Tuesday. So what do you think is going to happen? Well, he's drawn gate one, I think. Yeah. From what I've seen, field. I reckon he'd be maybe three back on the fence. Look. And... Uh, just pulled out to work home. Right. And then what? Second up, you reckon? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you're the you're the form man. Uh, well, Are you going to back him? No. Nah. Okay. Well, Jack, just get off the rail before the corner because <laughs> yeah. he's a big horse, takes a big stride. If you get on the fence, don't come back to the mounting yard. Um, try and get outside the leader or one back with cover, please. Look, he makes Heal him out nice. and give him plenty of room. I don't know. He's got I, ability. I find it hard to work out trial form, but... He's just his manners were good, and that's the main thing. When trial you, when trial you, was 850. Where he said he didn't want him in anything under 1200. Really? So that's a bit of a guide. All right. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Tuesday. All right. We've also got our approach coming back from. This is a good story. It is a good story. She after she won her maiden by as far as kick the hat at Warnable, about six or seven lengths. She hurt a tendon. Yeah, she's done a strain mm. um, after she won that by eight lengths, which is very disappointing at the time. But it was only a strain, so she's gone down to the Miracle Man at Mornington. Lee Everson. Been there for probably the best part of three months. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> she come back to where he's last week, trialled her. Races. She's running Tuesday, <laughs> yeah. and all the owners are looking at me like we're cross-eyed, because <laughs> they can't believe it. But, yeah. you know, that's what happens when you use the right people. And she so, trialled well, so... You were at the trials? Yeah. What happened? 
she settled back, well she was three wide, which was planned just to give a clear run and then uh, finished off strongly, beaten two or three lengths, ran third, where he said straight the races, 1400. Win? Oh, I did, I did you, quite what do you the, think? Oh, I think she'll be hitting the line, I don't know. Is there a fence here you can sit on? Oh, oh <laughs> anyway. I, I go about bloodlet in my obsession, each way chances. Oh. I just don't think she can fill a hole, Darren. She can't. <laughs> There's only eight in the race. She, she'll win and I'll have to jump it hole. <laughs> she wins by eight. You better run. Oh, no, now, be. I've been watching these jump outs at Caulfield, and these boys there that do the, watch all the trials every week at Caulfield. Yeah. It's a really good service. And they tip in these horses that follow, and I think they're going at about 70% winners. Now, you've been going the trials I'm for about it. nine years, <laughs> and, and you can't give us anything. Well, I just said they'll run well. If they don't fill a place, I'm right. Is no, there no. anything you saw of the trials that are going to win, even if it's not one of ours? Have you actually seen anything that could win? They don't tell me the names, Darren. Pretty sort of keep it under their hats, the weird stable. You take a photo of the brand <laughs> and you look it up. <laughs> look, it's all going to be revealed because as of next week, Ballarat trials are going to have um, names, colours and yep. everything. So Weary can't hide anything now. Yeah, but he won't troll there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what you're really saying is you've got nothing. Oh, I just said they can't run a place, both of them. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a little bet on that. <laughs> what are we going to bet? I reckon they'll both run a place. Righto. And I'd like to have a bet with you, Pete. All right. Let's go for um, let's go for a six pack. Six pack. Yeah. Because we don't have one. If you're real confident. We, we need I one. I reckon you're betting the trip, the next trip out to Packenham. Loser goes. Oh, to I thought you were going to say Ascot. <laughs> Actually, let's have a runner at sale, and the loser goes to sale. Wherever the next furthest trip is, wherever the next furthest trip is from our point, like your home line, yeah, the loser goes. So, if I lose, then I'll just go to Eagle Farm. Is that yeah, all right? It's going to be a proviso on this. Yeah, yeah Eagle Farm. Is that all right? <laughs> That'd be right. Unless it's an interstate trip, I'm going to play right. a trip. Well, I'm betting you a six pack. Because right. we need a six pack. Right. We don't have one. I hate tipping against ATV horses, but I'm just. Well, you know, you're, just, you're putting the moz on my client's just, horses, no. you're bagging them, and uh, it's disappointing. Either that, or he's trying to get better odds on Ladbrokes. <laughs> yeah, that could be his strategy. At least it. he's off the fence now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've actually got him to say something. Anyway, that's our runners. But they should be happy. Is there anything else you want to add? They should be happy that I've not tipped them. David Farron probably is. Yeah. Better to see if Des Penfold turns up tonight. Uh, with Bloodlet? Yeah, because it's a long way for him to drive. Oh, it's in his own backyard. I know. Yeah. Let's see if he turns up. He's been yeah. a bit, you know, yeah. slack, I reckon. A bit sort of airy fairy with Any the other owners we want to pick on? No. No. No? All good. No, I'm running out of things to say. Anything to sell? Ah, uh, yeah. We've got a few on our website. It's got a whole lot of range Matfield. of new horses coming up on our website next week. Yeah. All the yearlings we've bought, Pete. Can't can't sort of put them up yet. No, we just got to wait for the PDSs to be approved by Racing Victoria. Because they watch this too. Because we want to do the right thing. We want to be compliant. Yeah. But there but, were seven or eight yearlings yeah. going up in the next 10 days, so stay tuned for that. Cover all budgets from about... Uh, two grand two to... Two grand to about... 20 grand. Yeah, yeah. 20 grand, the ones that die by us. <laughs> oh, I love low breaks. <laughs> now he's on the big bucks. Yeah. And then we got Dubai coming up. Mm, Heartbreak City. Heartbreak City in the Gold Cup. Yep. Had Tony Martin on the phone the other night. Fairly bullish. Yes. Don't know really what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something about he thinks he can win. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. So there's something to look forward to there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. And the slipper. Now, Guy, the reason you're here, and March Fly just bit me. That's all right, because we're in March. Um, the slipper. Heavy Joe. 10, if Joe. they go ahead. If they go around, yeah. I think it was the nine this morning, we're still rain, rain to come. So yeah. Give us your slipper winner. We really hope we get off the ground tomorrow because Golden Slipper Day is one of the best days in Australian racing. Tomorrow, my best. I know she's won the Blue Diamond, but I think Catchy can butter up again. Uh, we're do Ladbrokes is doing enhanced odds on the Golden Slipper for the first run of your back. And we've currently got her at six bucks. And if you're backing, a, so you can check out the whole the full market on ladbrokes.com.au. And the, she's currently at five five dollars as a standard price before the enhanced odds. So you can jump on also best of the best, which is the best of best tote and top fluctuation on all uh, metropolitan races on a Saturday. And also jump on your odds boost, and you should be set for the day. So check out ATV's punters page with all the details of how to get involved. Catchy, you've got to fill up on the sands. Well, two things. Yep. Richo, 
I reckon you're out of a job. <laughs> Guy's going to be on Get On very shortly <laughs> with that little yeah, audition. Promo, He's got yeah. to win first. You'll be on, mate. You'll be on. Rich, I'll be gone. And secondly, just want to let you know that um, I really liked Catchy as a yearling yeah. at the sales. And this uh, sounds like a sad story yeah. to me. Well, I loved her. You know what the vet said? No. Bad x-rays, 50-50 with it a race. It's done more than that. It's un so we put a big line through it. <laughs> I asked the bloke that bought it. And he said, well, I just bought it because it would have been a nice mare. I didn't care if it raced. Now he's won a diamond. He's probably going to win a slipper. And he's a good blade, Rob Crabtree. So all the best, Rob. Really pleased for you. We'll be, we'll be uh, hoping she wins. So after that little wrap, I think I'll be having something on her on the heavy tent. And Hayes Davenick, uh, they've trained about 300 two-year-old winners this year. 27 to be exact. Is that all? I thought it was more than that. There's only been 28 races. Well, 27 winners combined. I think that might be it. They're flying. They are. How's our horses going in that yard? I've got, I've got a two-year-old there with them. How are they going? Well, just, are they raced? back in training. What are they doing? Well, we had one trial this morning with them, didn't we? Yeah. That was Catchy's full brother. Is it two or three? Three-year-old. Don't know, I haven't heard. Email. It actually worked with Catchy the other day. There's no internet out here in Inglis. Worked with Catchy, did you see that? What's that? Craig and Air. Yes. Did you know that's yes, a full to Catchy? I do, and they oh, worked together during the week. Yeah. yeah. And who yeah. won? Catchy won. Mm. Craig, Craig and Air was under a hold though. Can we swap? <laughs> yeah. Can we swap? That if should only be fair. We could do that. Can we just change the brands? They wouldn't know. I reckon we're running overtime. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> that's it for ATV this week. It's all about love breaks, it's all about punting. Peter Morgandy, with special guest Guy Hexter, soon to be on racing.com. <laughs> and I'm Darren Dance. <laughs>